Planche or front lever is a strength move, so we need to train for strength then. But what if I told you that you need to do hypertrophy training? As in, like, hypertrophy is for size and muscle size doesn't always mean stronger. Well, I was studying. Yeah, I know. Me studying. I was studying and came across this uh, interesting Reddit post. I know considering Reddit like source of information is... Uh, and one of those guys commented that mass move mass. And the same guy commented if you build a big front delts, it will help you in your planche training. And that's true, because look at me. <laughs> front delts don't exist. And who has a bigger chance of learning the planche? Me without delts or some guy that has like huge ones. But that leads us to the beginning of this video. Bigger muscles doesn't necessarily mean stronger. Another interesting comment that I found on the Reddit, on different Reddit posts, said that you can be strong while not being huge, but if you are huge, you are hella strong. You know, have you ever seen skinny guy bench 225? I haven't. And it's the same with Kai Steng skills. Have you ever seen skinny guy doing full Maltese, full planche? I haven't. Daily dose of coffee. Okay, so let's go on our good Instagram and let's watch, for example, Netco. Boom, big muscles. License. Boom, big muscles. Let's watch another one. Viktor Kamerov. Big muscles. Even though he's smaller, he has huge biceps, front delts. La Rosa. Boom, big biceps, big muscles. He has even bigger biceps than we all together. Okay, so I think this is enough, but you may tell me that there are some skinny guys doing full Maltese, full planche and so on. Okay, one of my fan, I think he's still fan, that like told me that there is Ugo Ot OTZ. You may say that he is skinny, he's not big, but you need to take in consideration that he is small, he is like maybe 1 meter 60. For his height, he is big. When I say big, I don't mean that you need to be optically big. For me, I would need to be like license. I would need to have big biceps, big uh, back to be able to hold something. He will never be that big as Lightens because he's small and so his muscles are small, but small like optically, but for him, they will be big. Well, the neck, but there is fitness FAQs and he's big, but he can do but, well, I don't know if he can do stereo planche, but I think... Well, he for sure can do full planche or like front level pull-ups. Why is that? Well, here we got again this controversial thing. You know, I take calisthenics as a sport. I don't do it for aesthetics or something like that. You know, you won't hate guys that are competing like in cycling or something like that. And they have huge legs, but not big arms. So I take calisthenics like that. You will have huge upper back and small lower upper back, upper body, but smaller lower body. As I said in my previous video, why someone has faster calisthenics progress, if you didn't watch it, you can definitely. Skills are not hard. The difficulty of the skill is set by how your body uh, is built. So that means if you have naturally small legs, small muscles, you should start calisthenics because <laughs> But if you have for some reason big legs, full of fat, water, Coca-Cola, I don't know, <laughs> that is Kaisten's grave. So that's the case with fitness FAQs. Why he can't do full planche, for example. This, but this is the thing, you need to pick one. Aesthetics or skills. For skills, big legs. If you start training legs, even though muscles weight less than fat, for example, one kilo of fat will look differently than one kilo of muscle, but still the difficulty of the skill stays the same because your uh, central gravity doesn't change, doesn't, ch doesn't move towards uh, your chest. But it was his choice to train legs. You know, not everyone want to be uh, the best in skills for do full Maltese. Guys, I forgot to say one important thing uh, that I saw on the internet, but I can't find it now. Take your muscles like it is battery. You have phone that has battery, the more you know. 
the battery doesn't change that doesn't change uh, its capacity and you can charge it to 100 percent and that's the same with muscles if you have for example um basically you will max out their potential how strong the muscle uh, can be i don't know if it works that way but uh, i would say maybe yes it does make sense if you would train five or even ten years for strength you will eventually max out your potential with those muscles you have because strength training doesn't build muscles that much so what are three benefits of having big muscles big upper body especially not lower body lower body kills your gains it is true well don't don't tell me from a, from like physics that if you put 10 kilos on your toes that it wouldn't change the level it will it's just the weight spread throughout your whole legs so the first benefit if you have big upper body you know it will change the level so your center of gravity won't be the waist but it can be for example belly button so it will be easier to hold the lever because you don't have to do the front level like this but for example like this well that's maybe much but that's just for example second thing if the theory of uh, the battery as i said previously is true bigger muscles means bigger potential for strength and the third last thing is that who doesn't want big big biceps? Well, I, I wanna because I don't have them. <laughs> That's why I stopped doing Iceland skills because simply I trained for five years for strength mainly and as you can see, nothing happened. No front, no front lever hold, no planche. So I stopped doing skills and I will talk about it in the next video.